hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're returning if you're new here hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up afterwards and now let's get into the hey you guys look what i'm doing this is my second batch of cabbage soup you know why because last week i made a big pot of cabbage soup i ate it for four days not even a full seven i ate it for only four days and i lost a full seven pounds i lost seven pounds in four days and friday saturday and sunday i ate what i wanted to eat and i still didn't gain the weight back so you know what i'm feeling real motivated right now i'm feeling real inspired because the summer is very near and i figured like oh you're too late to even try to lose some pounds but I lost seven pounds in four days. Like, I want to keep this going. I want to keep this going. So, I'm making the second batch of cabbage soup to see what happens. And, um, but this week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate um, protein. I'm going to um, eat some chicken and whatever else I want to eat. But I'm going to just make sure that I continue to eat the cabbage soup. Now, this batch, as you can see, I used all the same ingredients in the first batch. But this batch, I'm blending up half of the soup because I did, I got bored eating that cabbage soup for those four days the same way. So I end up blending half of the soup and it turned it into like a creamy texture. And it was so good. I don't even think I'm going to go back to eating it regular. I think I'm going to make it like a creamy cabbage soup all the time because it changed the whole taste for me. So like to the point where... On the weekend when we were eating pizza and chicken and all that type of stuff, I was craving the soup. So as you can guess now, this, this video is going to actually be about meal prepping. Okay, so this is the second week. I make, Like I said, I make the soup all over again. I just made it in a different type of way. And so I'm going to prepare myself. I think you can, you know, once you have decided to do a certain thing, you have to prepare yourself and, 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 you know, get ready for success. And so for me to get ready for success, I'm going to meal prep. And so last week I ate the cabbage soup and then I had, you know, just the fruit. So it was just the cabbage soup and the fruit. And like I said, you know, um, was I hungry? I, I, I really wasn't hungry at all. I was pretty much satisfied. And you know what was happening? I was going to the bathroom constantly. And I'm not talking about number two. I'm talking about number one. I had no idea that cabbage um, will make you go urinate frequently. Yeah, I, I Googled it. Look it up. If I, I can't tell you all about it. Go ahead and Google it and Google the, the benefits of cabbage. But I Googled the benefits of cabbage and it really has gotten me all pumped up. Like I'm ready to go. Like I'm going to continue to eat the cabbage. Um, so a, a lot of the weight loss, that seven pounds, I think it was mostly water so like I said I want to keep it going um, but this week I'm going to incorporate everything else so like I said this video is a meal prep type thing so I got my cabbage soup out the way right so I got that out the way we're going to eat that with whatever and then I, I just bought this rotisserie chicken um, from Tony's and you know you can do a lot of things with uh, chicken just shred it up I can add it to the soup I can add it to salad or whatever. The possibilities are endless. And then you could just store the chicken right in the same container that it came in. So we got that moving right along. I got a bag of lettuce. And this little, I should have got the big bag of lettuce. Because this little bag of lettuce, it's only going to afford me two um, bowls of salad. I guess that's cool. I'm probably going to go through this salad. Within them four days, I'm probably going to end up having to go to the store and get some more. But yeah, I got a bag of salad. I already got little veggies pre-cut. I got my bell peppers. And I got onions. It makes life so much easier when you have things already ready to go. So I think that's what I'm going to continue to do. I'm going to meal prep, you know, so I can just have things to, um, you know, ready to go I also had already boiled like four boiled eggs to 
put in my salad or whatever, however I want to eat it. I had already boiled like about four four eggs. That makes you full as well. I love boiled eggs. So you can have that on the side as well. This salad going to be bomb. This is how I normally make my salads. The only thing that's different is that I'm not adding cheese. I don't want, I'm not going to eat any dairy during this process. But, you know, when you make your salad, season it up. I'm adding black pepper and oregano. And then I'm going to add these little pepperoncini peppers on the side. I don't know exactly what, I'm not going to use any dressing. I'm probably going to use like some lemon juice and some olive oil and then salt and pepper. And that's it. So now we come to these nice, beautiful ribeyes. Oh, ain't that beautiful? Ooh juicy these ribeyes is for my husband so since i got my 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 little um food out the way let me get his food out the way too so that i don't have to come back to the kitchen in the meantime so i um, also roasted a few potatoes so that i can make him some potato bowls potato bowls steak bowls whatever you want to call it so i got roasted potatoes i'm going to add corn to it there's mozzarella cheese in it i got some um sauteed um green peppers and onions that I'm going to throw into the bowl and then I'll add the steak and that'll be his little um, steak bowls so you know if you're the main cook in the house and you're you know going on a diet or you're trying to you know eat healthy make sure you you hook up the people that's in the house too so I got these nice beautiful ribeyes this is perfect for me I like my steak um, medium rare he likes his steak medium well, but I undercook, and you should do the same thing. I undercook the steak if, if, if you know that you're going to be warming it up. I know that you're going to have to warm this up, so I undercook it because it's going to continue cooking in the microwave once you warm it up. So, man, oh, I'm so jealous about this steak. This steak bowl, I've already made my husband's salmon croquette, some rice, some corn. So yeah, I ain't just thinking about myself. I'm thinking about him too. I meal prep for him too. I ain't got to come back in this kitchen. And then we have plenty of fruit to just grab and go. So that's it for the meal prep. If you've liked this video, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.